Hello, welcome to Masses Digital. My name is Aaron, and today we're going to continue our discussion on T24 TFJ components. Last time we created this component called MTD Training. And inside of this component definition file, we defined one method called greeting. And this method points to a subroutine called MTD greeting, which is this one, a very simple subroutine, which just returns hello and the name we give it, or if you don't supply a name, it just returns hello. And to use this method, we created a test program as well as a unit test program. So to use it, we just have the using a keyword and the name of our component. By doing this, we get access to anything which is defined here and also based on the scope, of course. Now, because this is test program is not part of this component, we can only access the public methods. If a method is private, we won't be able to access it. We have seen the scope. Of course, uh, if you run this, let's, let's demonstrate this. Can you run this? Hello, John, because, oh, because we supplied the name as John. And the second case, we just have hello, because we don't have any name. And it's the same for unit test program. So we initialize the name to John and the message to empty. We add these two parameters. And when you run this first test case, we expect hello, John. And the second instance, because the name is empty, we see the message hello. So if we run this unit test program, you see all the tests are okay. Now, today we're going to build upon this knowledge of scope and we're going to see how to use properties. Now, what are properties? You can create properties for common variables, uh, for anything which we want to access, like a value we want to set or access within our subroutines, which are part of these components or outside, depending again of the scope. So which means if a property is public, it can be accessible in other components or in other programs which are not part of our component. But if it's private, it's only private to that component, which means anything which is not part of that component cannot access that property. Now, how do we create properties? Of course, we start with the modifier or the scope. Now, let's start with public, okay? Because uh, we have already used public. So we say public. This is the modifier. Now, I want to create a property. So we can select property. And we can say, is it read-only property? Or is it write-only property? Or we can have read and write. Let's start with read and write. Read and write means we can set the value of that property and we can also get it. Now, since this is going to be public, we can do both read and write from everywhere. Okay, so the name of our property is going to be H. So that's all. This is how we created. Now, since H is a public property, which allows both set and get, automatically we get access to additional methods. We are going to have set H, which allows us to write the value to this property H and also get H. Let's see. Since it's public, we can even use our program. So for instance, let's make some improvement. Uh, for instance, let's let's ask the name as well. Instead of coding the name, so we can say prompt. What is your name? And we can input name. And we're going to pass this name. Let's pass it everywhere, okay? Actually, you can even have one. Should be enough. 
if you run our test program now, it has got his name. Let's say my name is Aaron and say hello, Aaron. Now, along with this, let's add H. You can prompt the user again. It's a prompt. How old are you? Then we're going to get the H. Of course, our subroutine does not have access to this edge. What we can do, we can set this value, we pass it, or we can even get the edge, uh, edge equals mtd dot training dot get edge. So we have access to get edge. Okay, you are. You are this age, yes, old. Okay. Now, but again, as you can see, if you run this program, we don't have get age because we didn't set anywhere. But that's okay. We can capture. We can set here. We can say mtd.training we can have set h to the edge which the user has supplied okay which means this one so as you can see we are setting the edge in the program which is not part of our component just by the fact that this edge is public property and in inside inside our subroutine we are getting access to the edge which was set outside okay we didn't have to pass this as a parameter because it is accessible and is part of this component now let's run our program and see so let me cross this run let's say my name is Anne how old are you uh, let's say 17. It says, hello, Anne, you are 17 years old. Okay? So, this is how to do that. Now, assume we want to be able to set the val from everywhere, but we don't want to allow the reading of the edge. Because here, if we say, in this component here, we can, we can print the edge. We can do mtd in this program. We have access to get edge. Okay, and of course we can print this. If you run this again, it says, say Anne, and what is your age? Let's say 12, and say hello Anne, you are 12, old. but also we're printing this 12, okay? Now, assume we just want to be able to set this value h from anywhere but we want to allow the access the reading of this value only in our component how to do that of course we can make this right as public and make it private for reading okay By doing this, uh, sorry, it's a read. I'll make it to read in this component. So by making this, we can no longer get access to this get h method in this program. Let's try to compile again. See, we should expect an error. Compile. So you can see we have an error get edge forbidden access but inside our subroutine we are able to get the edge without any issue and you can also set the value by the way you can say uh, now let 
let's concatenate this with uh, char 10 so to the new line and uh, we say next year you will be set edge we can, mod we can modify this edge to edge for instance plus one and we can say you will get now if you do this get again get edge because we have modified this here if we do get again actually let's remove this because we no longer need this and but of course we need to delete this because this now is only accessible for right let's run what is the name all right thank you i hope you have enjoyed watching this video and as a recap we have seen how to use properties in components we have seen uh, different uh, ways of creating properties like creating property with uh, read and write or separating read and write like this case where we have uh, write for public and read for private and you have seen how to do that and in our subroutine we have both access to read and write so we can set the value and you can also get the value because this property which we have created has read and write so for the component we have access to both private and public but for any program which are, which is not part of our component we only have access to set the value but you cannot get the value all right thank you see you next bye bye